Welcome to the Plus Add-on Tutorials. Today we are going to demonstrate Accordion Widget. In the Accordion Widget, you have three options in the Content tab. The first of all, the Content, then Icon Options, then Extra Options. Let's start with the Content. There is, you can use multiple options. Like if you want to duplicate anything, you can duplicate it, delete it, and you can add new item. So. If you go into any item, you have the option for the title. You can enter the title as per your needs. Then you have the content source option where you can select the content. You can enter the text version or the HTML as per your needs. Then you have the option for the page template. In the page template, you need to create Elementor templates which you can create by going to my templates in the Elementor section you can add new or import temp templates as well if you go to add new then you have to need to select the page or section and then you have to give the name and you can create the template and it you can put any widget or anything using the Elementor in that particular template. Once you create the template, you just need to select from here. We're gonna use any demo selection here. If you select anything, it will come and appear here. You can you need to change it as per your as per the response you need or as per your requirements. Then you can create multiple like this so all have your own con uh, own content in that then you have the icon option you can hide the icon or you can show the icon you can see the icon over here we have the two icon libraries first is the font awesome and another is icon smile we have given the two icons one will be when it's on and one will be it's off right you can select the two icons over here then for the title tab for seo purpose we have given option for h1 to h6 tag and div tag then you have the option for the active accordion that means when you load the page which tab you want to keep active like if you have the total seven tabs here and in this case if you want to keep fourth tab open then you can select the fourth one so when the page will be loaded the fourth one will be open and you also have the option for on hover accordion that means currently we need to click on the accordion to open it when you enable these options you just need to hover on that on hover you can change the accordion then in the styling tab you have option for the icon alignment where you want to keep the icon on the beginning of the section or at the end you have the options for the normal color and active color As this is uh, this one is active it's green and normal one is the gray color you have the gap option that gap is in between the icon and your text then you have all the options related to typography for the title you have the google font so you can choose from lots of fonts available then you have the size option you have weight, transform style, decoration, line height, letter spacing, and from these options, font size, line height, letter spacing options are for the responsive. So you can choose different sizes in the different devices, and then you have the option for the title alignment. You can choose center, right, or left. Then you have the color of title for the normal and active. 
in the title background you have the different options accordion space you can select the space in between the accordions then you have the box border option if you turn off need to turn off or turn on the box border you can do it from here you can choose different border styles you also have option for the normal and active you can select the color for normal and active you also have the box border radius option so you can design different layouts using these options normal and active options again you have the normal and active background color option you also have the normal and active box head options you can see the box shadow and for the active so you have all the options you can select then make it as decent you want to make it then you have the option for the content when you have selected content over here instead of page template that content text options are available here in the typography you have all the options then you have the text color option in the content you have the background options you have the margin so you can manage the space in the content area you also have the inner padding option you have the box border option You can make the box border like this. You can select the radius as well. You also have the background option, background color option. You also have the box shadow options for the content area. So these are the options available so you can design the way you want uh, we have put the all the margin options padding options so you can design many creative sections using these options then we have the whole style option I can show you these option styles are not available in the back end we need to check that in the front end let me show you let's go to the front end You have the whole style options you can select from uh, two different styles and you can select the over color as well then you have the on scroll view animation 
from there you can select the different uh, animation effects also you have the plus extras option in advanced tab we have made separate video for this plus extra you can check it out in our channel so you have all the available options here for the accordion if you have any other questions write us on the comment box below hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on accordion and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video